Well, it was also orientation for junior high schools across the country today. Desmond Saunders visited two of them to find out how the process went. Monday was the start of orientation for scores of public school students. Officials at the D.W. Davis Junior High School registering 109th grade students for its virtual learning platform. For the next three days, educators are hoping 800 students would be solidified for its online learning community, encompassing all grade levels from 7 through 9. Principal at the D.W. Davis Junior High School, Nicolette Brown. Uh, we are pleased with the way that it went. Uh, we had our program um, divided into two sessions uh, where we touched on um, uh, the technology aspect of uh, the new learning portal for the students uh, in terms of how students should log on, um, uh, all of the uh, netiquette now that will be required of them as they um, venture into this new virtual uh, learning uh, system. Monday's long-awaited orientation expected to provide virtual learning for over 50,000 students in the country in response to the deadly COVID-19 crisis that has impacted the educational system for the past several weeks. Brown noted that the new platform is a big adjustment from the traditional learning mode, but her team is ready. We're all in learning curve. Um, we will have to take it one day at a time. But the most important thing is we must remember that learning must continue. Um, our ninth graders coming in, they seem to be a little um, uh, almost detached in a way. Um, and so it was my job to try to get them to understand that um, we are still in learning mode. Um, though COVID-19 is upon us, we cannot stop learning. Um, it is um, crucial that your education continues because in very short order, they will be making decisions on behalf of um, us and as a country. Meantime, some 207th grade students from the L.W. Young Junior High School enrolling in the Ministry of Education's virtual learning platform, Principal Deborah Thompson expects that number to climb by week's end. The process um, went very well. Um, and even though we only had a short time to prepare, we were very prepared. And so parents came in and we uh, let them know that, you know, rest assured your child will be taken care of, not to worry. And so they were able to just leave their kids. And um, we already had the process of separating them into rooms, not their permanent home rooms, but into rooms with a teacher. We had an orientation um, booklet printed for them. And we also had a plan of what they will be doing because the ministry had requirements as well for what each child in each school needed to know. Students Tyree Stevenson and Tiara Cooper all geared up and ready for the new virtual school term. I had nothing to do at home, so it, re it feels really great to get out of the house to socialize again. I just want to um, keep my grades up and make sure I make a 3.0 or above and just stay on top of top of my class. As orientation continues, many teachers and students now look forward to embracing this new learning medium. Desmond Saunders, ZNS Network News.